Aloha, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Maui Craft Kitchen brought to you by me, Don Marceau. Now, a couple of weeks back, I did an MCK 101 class, which, by the way, if you're not getting the notifications for these or they're not coming up in your feed, that's because you haven't hit subscribe yet. So be sure to take a second now, hit that subscribe button, stay up to date on all the latest content as soon as it comes out. Now, like I was saying, a couple of weeks back, I did an MCK 101 class where we learned how to butcher an entire chicken down and save a ton of money in the process. And that leads me into today's episode. For all the kids out there, or for the kid in you, we're going to learn how to make delicious, homemade chicken nuggets. So strap on your seatbelt, keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times. Let's work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Hey, did you guys enjoy the ride or what? Let's be sure to thank Rod the camera guy for that one. Woo, yeah Rod, go Rod. We love you Rod. Okay, back to the nuggets. So you're going to start off with first a food processor. You might not have one of these, but that's okay. You could run this through a meat grinder. You could chop this up by hand. You're just looking for a fine texture on the chicken. So 300 grams of breast meat, 125 grams of thigh meat. I've already gone ahead and taken out all of the undesirables, as I like to call them. Undesirables are things that you don't desire in your chicken nuggets. Simple, yeah? Things like bone, little bits of tendon, get those out now. I've already gone ahead and done this. So, 300 grams of breast meat, 125 grams of thigh meat, going in to my food processor. To that, we're going to add 25 grams of beaten whole egg and 25 grams of breadcrumb. We are going to mix this together. What this is going to do is hydrate the breadcrumb and make sure that we get a nice, even distribution of both of these products in our end nugget. right into the mix. Next, we're going to add spices and herbs. Here I have half a gram of Italian seasoning. What Italian seasoning is, is a general mix of oregano, thyme, rosemary, six grams of Himalayan salt. If you don't have Himalayan salt, that's fine. My preference is Himalayan. One gram ground black pepper. Three grams granulated garlic. Feel free to experiment with any spices you'd like. This is just a general kid-friendly version that I came up with. We're going to pulse this just a few times on and off until we get a nice, fine chicken nugget-like texture. Just like that. All right, so far so easy, huh? Now that we have our chicken mixture, what we're going to do is portion this into roughly 15 one ounce pieces, dipping in just a little bit of water if things get a little too sticky. I'm going to use a high tech spoon, but feel free to use whatever you have. Nextly, you're going to just want to shape these up a little bit, squishing the excess air from them, much like shaping a burger. 
a little bit of water. Pick them up, squish them around a little bit, shape them into whatever shape you prefer. I'm just gonna go with traditional nugget. If you see any pieces that you don't want in there, any undesirables, pick them out. Now that they're all portioned, we're gonna pop them right into the freezer while we handle the next step. Next, you're gonna set up a basic breading station. It's virtually the same to bread just about anything on the planet. You're gonna start off with a little bit of flour. I have bread flour here. This could easily be all purpose or any other flour, seasoned with a little bit of salt. I have a little bit of whole beaten egg. I also have some breadcrumbs seasoned with a little bit of salt as well because trust no one, season everything. That's right, you guys know, you guys know. All we're going to do is we're going to start in the flour, coating the nugget evenly on all sides. Then we're going to shake off the excess and dip it into the egg, also coating evenly, letting the excess drip off before we put it into the breadcrumb for a final coating. Now that we're finished, you can either deep fry them like I'll be doing today, or you can lightly coat them in oil, both sides, and put them in a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven. Either way, you want them to reach an internal temperature of no less than 165 degrees Fahrenheit. You guys just made your own homemade delicious chicken nuggets. What? Virtual high five. You can make these ahead of time if you'd like and freeze them, either cooked or raw. Just make sure that before you eat them, they are cooked through. I can't thank you guys enough for watching. Keep cooking and keep having fun. Many mahalos and much aloha.